Whoa! What is that it's thing? Like it's it's like a, oh, it looks smiling. like a, the devil. He's smiling. He's handsome. He's not smiling. <laughs> he's pretty he's handsome. He's, he's pretty beautiful. ugly. He's <laughs> <laughs> thing ever. Look, it's 5:45 in the morning. Still dark outside. It's going to rain later, and we're going to go fishing today. So I live in San Francisco. TJ and Jan are coming down from Santa Rosa. Daniel is meeting me at my house pretty soon, five minutes or so. We're all going to drive down to Pescadero together. Low, extreme low tide right now, negative 1.2 tide. We've got swim baits, squid, uh, some poke poles, some regular poles. In case we don't catch any anything at low tide, we're gonna fish for some perch or rock cod or crab later. So we've got the whole setup. We've got four people in my little Civic and 10 poles, 10 poles probably. Last time I went fishing in the rain, I realized that my snowboarding jacket wasn't waterproof, so I got all wet. So I don't, have, I don't even have a waterproof jacket, and it's going to rain today. At least that's what the forecast is. So I've got a garbage bag, you know. Just put a garbage bag and then put my jacket over. Whatever works, right? The fisherman's life. lead sinkers like this and you want to attach swim bait to it you find the position where that hook is going to come out of the top of the swim bait so it's going to be about right there and then with your hook or with a pencil or something just mark it put a little indentation where you want that hook to come out and then so it's going to go on like that that means I got to hook it like this and you hook it just down straight through the center and keep it going just work it as much in the center as possible until that hook is positioned to come out with that little notch that you put in it once it comes out the notch just work it back on all the way and there's your swim bait Going for big lings, big rockfish, big cabazon. Even if you come out fishing and you don't catch any fish, it's totally worth it just to come out and see the low tide. Take a look at all of these things that you never get to see. if you come out here at low tide and walk on these rocks because the seaweed and this algae makes these rocks very slippery and might fall and hit your butt.
this. Damn, that's a keeper. Dude, come over here. Where there's one, there's gotta be another. Yes. Damn, I thought he got hung up for a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's go. Hell yeah. So I was fishing with this three quarter ounce swim bait. We changed spots from Pescadero and we moved over to uh, Pigeon Point down south about another four miles. That's where I'm at right now and that's where I caught this monster ling. Just offshore, um, about two feet from the rocks. I had it swimming down there about five feet deep, 25 incher. My first ling ever, pretty exciting. How's it go? Low tide, baby. Haven't been fishing too much, I've just been pretty excited about this fish. So I'm gonna try to get my bait back in the water because chances of catching a fish are a lot better when your bait's in the water. Right there is where I caught the ling cod. Nice one. Nice, nice. Not bad at all. Yeah. That's really pretty. Oh, he swallowed the hook though. Yeah, that's all right. We're gonna clean that other one. We might as well clean this one. Have him swimming in hot grease in no time. <laughs> Just gonna gut this fish. We're gonna fillet it so no need to scale. Just gonna go up through the butthole. And this part's a little tough, so if you got a serrated edge, you should be able to cut through. Cut across there, and you should be able to pull out everything. Check his stomach, see what he's been eating. All right. Yeah, it's empty completely. Oh, uh, weird. Oh, that is weird. His gills are sharp. Man. This is good crab bait. First link on. Oh yeah, hey you got it. Nice. Oh. It's shorty, but it's fun. Is it a sculpin or what is that? I don't know. Is that a sculpin? Or is that that looks like a bullhead, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I think it's too big to be a bullhead. Nice, nice way to end the day. Yeah, that's cool. Doesn't look like it has much meat on it. Watch out for watch out for those stickers though. Yeah, it's holding by the belly and See what you can do. Whoa! What is that it's thing? Like it's right. horny. He has horns. So it looks like, a, oh, it looks like the, the devil. Oh, he's smiling. That thing is gnarly he's looking. He's a smiling devil. He's not smiling. He's handsome. He's not smiling. <laughs> he's pretty he's ugly. He's handsome. He's, he's pretty beautiful. ugly. He's beautiful. The ugliest thing ever. Look how happy he's got devil horns. <laughs> Look how happy he is. Like, he's smiling. <laughs> He loves you. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, he I'm sure he's very you. happy right now. He's smiling. He'll probably bite, huh? Nope. You want pliers? Oh, I don't even know what to do. Oh, those things are hard. Yeah, man. Those are their horns. They'll get you. What is 
it? <laughs> I have no idea. Another mystery fish? No, he's alive. Oh! He's like a little roly-poly! He's cute. I'm dumb, but he's 